What's up everybody? Welcome to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out a brand new visual effects breakdown from DNAG. Now if you don't know who DNAG is, they are a visual effects house out of London I believe. They should still be out there, I'm not sure. They've been out there for a long time. But they do a lot of really, really cool visual effects on the Uncharted movie. Like a lot of the movies that you've seen, whether it's on Netflix or big, huge motion pictures, like on, at the theater, these guys have been a part of it. Trust me, they've been a part of a lot of amazing films. So let's dive in here. Let's not waste any more of your time. Let's take a look at some of this. Um, just so I give you a heads up, I do animation for a living. So hopefully if I see some cool things, we can dive in and I can kind of tell you something unique and we can, you know, uh, bring something different to this channel. So let's go, shall we? You can see all the different plates that they use. What we'll do is we'll first watch this all the way through and then I'll kind of pause it and break down some of these shots and you know and we'll talk about them further. So let's first kind of relish in how awesome the, the, of work that they've done here. Look at that added sunlight. Completely CG snake. Look at this. This is incredible. And the final product looks real. See that? Oh. Look at this on an entire whole set. That whole scene right there looked fake except the guys. Look at this. That whole scene is fake. Wow. Yeah, let's just let this play all the way through and then we'll pause and talk about it. Oh, cool. Look, he's completely blue screen. Wow. See, some shots, you never know, they are completely 3D and, and you think that they're 100% real. Look what they've done to this train. They've done some really good particle effects and rubble breaking and wow, look at it. <laughs> this saves millions of dollars is having to wreck a real train. Look at that. The lighting looks really good, how they punched it up. Boom. Look at this, this is incredible. Wow, obviously this part's gonna be fake, huh? Wow. Because they're not gonna run a real train right through Tokyo or wherever this is at. I always enjoy shots like that right there, where it's just them walking with a little blue screen in front of them and then they insert them into the plate. Look at this. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet there. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna pause this music here. I had to bring the music on because the other stuff would have been copyrighted. So uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't get a copyright strike basically to, to show off that little bit there. So let's go in here. Let's take a look further. Let's break down some of this stuff, shall we? So in some of these scenes, if you notice what's happening is there, there's multiple plates going on. Okay. Especially in this scene, you can see that they use just th this is one and then they color grade that, that that footage, and then they come in and they drop in some CG elements, which are like these buildings right here on the side, all these neon signs, and then they come in, they add another plate of footage on top of that. Look at this, and they're, they're, they're putting a, a whole bunch of things, they're stacking things together. A lot of stuff that DNAG does is like this, okay? It's, it's basically compositing, right? And they're, they're compositing in a video way and not just like with a picture. And this is incredible work. This takes a lot, a lot of talent, multiple, multiple people in some of these shots, a lot of CG stuff, a lot of pictures, a lot of video. All this stuff is very elaborate to go in to make some of these scenes. And like sometimes as a viewer, you watch them and you just go, that was sick. <laughs> you don't even like, you don't see all the elements that go into it. So like this train station, if you look, this is all CG like elements and then they've they've put in like pictures of stuff that they went and shot in Tokyo and different places that they've went to right that um resemble the area that they're trying to represent here in the movie they'll go grab reference footage basically they'll grab video plates and different like 
pictures of cities and, and, and areas that they can use later. And that's what you're seeing here. They're using those pictures and they're projecting them on like a, a crude 3D kind of model. And then if you see here, then they, they put in this uh, CG train and then the final element is just the plate of normal people in Tokyo or wherever it is in a, in a city subway. And then they just use that one little element as the real plate. Everything else is fake. Awesome. And this is interesting here how they added like a sunset and an, and a and a lens flare and a, and a sun like a, a brighter sun. It's it's interesting because sometimes a lot of these movies and and stuff are now using visual effects just for like simple sunsets um to just increase the sun and make it look better, to, you know, or like what in the Batman movie that recently came out Robert Pattinson, they did a whole, you know, visual effects thing where they had the um LED screen behind them, right? And they could control it in the Unreal Engine, like live, real time. And what was cool is the actor could like be there on set and be filming for like six hours and behind them, the sunset was there forever. In real life, if you're on the top of a rooftop and the sunset's about to hit, you only have like five minutes, 10 minutes like tops. And that thing is dropping. Like if you've ever been a photographer and tried to capture a sunset, that thing is gone within minutes. So. It's really cool that this technology is here because now you can have like a sunset for 10 hours of filming, you know, so, or you can shoot this whole scene and go, ah, oh, we had no sunset, but well, let's just add one. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And it's showing that off right there that they added like that whole piece. And right here is neat because back in the, not back in the day, but yeah, back in the day, they would probably would have had something fake on his arm. They would have tried some, but this is great. It just shows the plate footage and look and then the snake coming on and the snake looks great the snake looks absolutely real right there this is amazing to see that they actually built like this whole set this is expensive this is why some of these movies cost millions of dollars not only to like hire an actor of course that's obviously going to cost millions too but think about how much it costs to hire a lot of people to literally build like a chunk of a subway that you're only going to use to like film this movie, you know, and possibly another movie later. But these things get scrapped, you know, a lot of times for a movie, they're only using those elements for that movie. And then they just get completely scrapped, moved, changed, you know, and they get repurposed and stuff like that. So it's interesting to see that they go the great length to make an entire subway like piece there. Now, this right here is interesting because you think some elements would be real. For instance, the mountains or like the location where they're at, and then they would just do the train and just do the person. But interesting enough, they have done the entire set. So this whole scene, look, they, that's why they show you this, that like, look, all this gray, all this black and white is CG. And you're like, wait, what? So everything's CG. <laughs> so it's really great that they've um had the ability and capability i should say to do this because just like in the uncharted film there were certain shots that i thought were real and the whole thing was cg which was incredible to me it it, it faked my my eye we're really getting to that point now in the visual effects industry and, and watching movies now we can kind of almost do whatever we want we don't have to risk people's lives at all anymore there's no more jackie chan dropping out into a building and, and doing really dangerous stunts like that anymore it happens that's because the person wants to do it though right because nowadays you don't have to we don't have to do any of that stuff and this is proof like some of these these effects reels and some of these breakdowns i've been showing you guys it's real proof that you can do anything in cinema right now and i can't wait to see the avatar film because they're going to be pushing that even more too so this scene here let me uh right here so let me slow motion this There we go. See, if you look, this is all CG. Look, you can see the cup flying through here. All, every little piece in here is all 3D. And then they're adding just the actor. See, that's just the actor. And what's interesting is, look, they even have a dude holding him <laughs> dressed in a, in a green screen suit. Very interesting. Look at that, all corded up. This is amazing work that they're doing here. And it's good that they're using a blue screen kind of mainly for him because 
green has a lot of spill. It's got a lot of spill color and it reflects light almost more than blue does. So it's smart that they use blue right there instead of green for him. And wow, they really nailed the lighting right here. Look at this. And they're showing you like, here's the base plate footage. And because of this harsh light, okay, because of the harsh light that they put on this guy, um, and these, you know, these three characters here, they have to recreate that in real life, right? Or in the, in the plate. So if you see, they add that piece of sunlight back there to, to replicate that, that bright light in that dude's hair, that dude, Brad Pitt. Um, and this right here, it's one of those things where like you realize, Oh, well, God, it's got to all be CG because you're wrecking something. You're destroying something completely. And a lot of these scenes now that it costs so much money, it's cheaper. Like I said, to do it this way. Like if we look down here later, when after this guy gets crumpled up, like this is such an epic moment right here, by the way, look at this, the slow motion of that is so cool. But right here, this train, pummeling through the city, like I said earlier when I first watched this, you obviously are not going to take a train and run it through a city. So now with these effects, we can do this. We can run a train through an entire city. It's no big deal. We don't have to damage nothing. Not like in the past, like a lot of films, it was really expensive because you would go down to locations and, and literally set off explosions and fire and different stuff. And nowadays you don't have to do any of that. Like this entire scene is CG as you saw which is incredible. Now, it does look like that too. Like for instance, when I saw this scene and then they wipe away this blue this blue screen in front of them, this blue wall, it does sort of look fake. Like this looks sort of real, looks good. For some reason, you can really see the difference between like this pagoda here, this tall building, all this foreground element and the background. The background you can really tell is different. It's fake. I don't know what it is, but um, I think it's the depth of field. It should be blurrier even right here in the middle um, behind this road, maybe something because the road is so crisp here that what happens is before that it, it kind of just, it feels like you can tell there's two separations of two different pieces. So that part's kind of a little strange and I don't know what it is, but they did an incredible job on this film. It looks really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of visual effects breakdown of what DNA has done. They they do incredible work. And, you know, there's a lot of other uh, videos like this on my channel. So I'll pop some up. You can check them out. I'll leave a you know link to them up above. So check them out. There's all kinds of cool stuff on this channel. I hope I brought something new and in, you know unique to your viewing experience. So if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Smash the buttons down below and I appreciate all your time and support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!